Welcome to the Digital Marketing Insights Podcast, brought to you by Brightside Digital. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm delighted to say today we have Karina, who is a digital marketing specialist. Karina, how are you doing? Hi, I'm very good. And you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show. Thanks for inviting me. (laughs) You're very welcome. Karina, we always start off the show with the same question, which is, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. So uh, my name is Karina. I'm 27 years old. So I'm currently studying digital market with cloud computing. Uh, I'm going to my third year now, and uh, I came to Ireland seven years ago. And uh, yes, I'm very happy uh, when I start my career in digital marketing because I used to be in the economic field before and I realized it wasn't for me and I find out myself into marketing. And yeah, I'm very happy with that. (laughs) Brilliant. And what would you see as your main strength in digital marketing at the moment? Yes, so I was doing like um, this internship um, in the the digital market and we are doing like uh, these projects for uh, business uh, and like I really enjoyed that. Uh, I'm finding myself uh, very good on events and uh, in the communication part. So it's my favorite part. It's like to uh, organize events um, and yeah, I'm really happy with with this part yeah and also to do projects like for a business to you know like uh i really like to use uh uh, apps like canva and um uh adobe spark and spark yeah i really like spark (laughs) and like for our listeners could you Explain in a little bit more detail what Spark is and how you operate it. Yeah, sure. So I did a few products on Spark already. Uh, you are able to do, like, for example, websites over there. Uh, it's really handy and have a really good, like, design. Um, we did a project there for a college and um, we did, like, a website talking about, like, multicultural in Dublin and was really nice. Uh, you were also able to do many things as well in Spark, like websites, you were able to uh, edit videos, you were able to do flyers uh, for events um, in many sites, you are able to do posts for Instagrams, uh, posts for Facebook, and you were able also to uh, do posts like uh, in the right sides for like TikTok and everything. So it's very handy, very handy for who works with marketing. Brilliant. And when you're coming up with content ideas, how do you go about that? What's your process? So um, I, first thing, I always try, like when you're doing something for a client or we're doing a project, I try to uh, go further into the, like, the subject to understand like everything about it. So then after that, I try, I, I start to create my ideas, you know, after I have like, a lot of uh, good knowledge from the subject I'm gonna do the project uh, I start to to think about like how it's gonna be designed and what I'm gonna talk about it like what is ne- uh, was never talking about the subject before so it's gonna be interesting for like the clients gonna be interested for like who is reading uh, the project and and um, yeah that's it brilliant and what other softwares would you use? You've already mentioned Canva and Spark, but is there any other softwares you uh, you go to when you're either doing strategy or creating content in digital? Yeah, so I, I am learning like Photoshop now. <laughs> so it's a thing that I really want like to go deep into because I think it's something very valuable for who it's on the market f- marketing field. So uh, I'm getting... I'm slowly getting better into it, but it's something that I like to use as well. Uh, I just bought a course that I'm going to be doing like this summer. Uh, So yes, hopefully I'm going to be able to use more of that like in the future. 
uh, because like Canva and uh, Spark, they are like good, but they have certain limitations for a uh, few things. And like uh, Photoshop, you can go like, you can create more, you can use more like creativity, you know? Definitely, definitely. It is definitely more. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And is there any particular marketing campaigns and work you've done previously that you're really proud of? Yes, I think my favorite one uh, was one that we made when I was on my internship that um, wasn't like a marketing campaign, but it was like a, a, a project like to present like our work to a client. So uh, we had like to comp with like other companies like for them to choose us and it was really really nice to do this mock-up like and put all our ideas uh, on the campaign it was uh, me and th uh, three other people on this project and it was very well successful in the end so yeah it was really interesting we put like some ideas of like uh not just like the instagram but like we uh gave ideas for like new menu on the restaurant because it was like for a restaurant uh, a new menu new website so it was like a, a whole uh new branding you know for the company <laughs> and um is there any particular areas in digital marketing that you're looking to upskill into yes so when I when when I start like um, the college, I had the option for uh, events, but I choose like a digital a cloud computing. Um, it is something that I'm enjoying, but I realize actually that like my favorite part is these events. And another part that I really liked as well, it's like, I forgot the name, but you know, persuasive marketing, when you need to do things, for example, that a picture lets people are going to look like exactly where you want to look. I just forgot the name of the air of the area of the marketing now more close persuasive marketing but that's not exactly the name it's really interesting because it's like psychological you know it's like kind of like psychological marketing where you can like make people uh, go where you want you know like for example you want to make like for example you have two pictures uh, there was a studs that was two pictures of a baby and like something that was advertising and when the baby was like looking on the front on on the other one that the baby was on the side people were looking more for the product on the one that the baby was like on the side like looking for the side and not on the front for the customer because uh, when the baby is looking for example for the front like people were looking exactly for the baby and not giving much attention to the product and in the other one people are looking first on the product and after uh, that for the baby, you know? So it's a kind of like persuasive, persuasive market, but um, there's another name as well for this area that I think it's really interesting because I think psychology is a very interest area as well. Uh, so that's why it's like picked my attention, you know? Uh, we are learning this one, one our market communication subject on, on college and was one of, my favorite class was really interesting brilliant yeah that sounds really interesting yeah it is like it's fascinating <laughs> and um do, do you find any of your kind of college work has really applied to your to your working career now do you always fall back on some of the knowledge you've got at, um, at college oh yeah sure uh when I was doing like the internship was really nice to see like few things that I was uh, that I was like learning in college and put in, pra in practice. Uh, they use, for example, they spark Adobe. I start to, I start using in in college uh, with a product with a, with a subject that we had to do a project for a website, and then it was very helpful for me because uh, I use it to do like the client projects and also like for example know about uh, mix uh, product and mix uh, marketing strategies as well was very helpful yes for the moment was it so i can't wait to put more things in, in in practice actually uh, i was um something that was really interesting college as well because we are learning like a little bit of um, coding so it would be something that it would be really nice uh, to use as well on like next 
work opportunities, you know, something to develop there. Looking at the digital industry as a whole, is there anything that really excites you that might be coming on the way? In the future, I really want to um, be able, you know, to be part of a um, big events production would be really nice. I think now uh, after COVID, this is an area that is going to have loads of opportunities to grow and also to innovate it, you know. Uh, so I think it's going to be a really interesting area and is already something that I really enjoy. So I think something very uh, promptive, like something that is going to be really good and, and it, like really innovating as well. Really well said. And Karina, lastly, we always ask the same question on the show, which is if we could bottle up one personality trait that you have that we could pass on to others, what would it be? Mm, I think like positive it. I'm a very positive person and I think that helps a lot in like everything, you know, in work, in college, uh, because uh, like even like when I'm feeling tired and feeling like that, I, oh my God, what I'm going to do? I keep up and I said, no, everything's going to be fine in the end. And that's helped me like always keep like uh, keep up with everything and keep like happy and my creativity. And so I think that's thing. That's one thing on me that I, I, I would be very happy to pass to other f- people as well. Really well said. Karina, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much for sharing your insights. And I can tell that you're going to have a bright, bright future in digital marketing. So, um, yeah, I just want to say first and foremost, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much, Tom, for the opportunity. It was really nice to be here with you today. Thank you. Thank you.